that everyone may make it across the channel. In 2002, Jamie Mitchell won his first paddleboarding world championship. He's won every year since. It's so intense out there that you just hope nothing goes wrong. I can't imagine standing on Molokai looking across the Oahu thinking I want to paddle there. You know, <laughs> it's so intimidating and I don't know why you'd do it. The Kaivi Channel is uh, it's pretty awesome. And when you get out there, everyone in this event at some point is just awestruck by where they are. The Hawaiians call it the mana, and you really, really feel it out in the middle of that Kaivi Channel. In a way, I think Jamie has more pressure than I do, because I don't think he's ever lost. So he's like, there is no other way but down for him. It's almost unfair, the expectations that are put on him. But hey, he created it. He made his bed. Now he's got to lie. That's what you get for winning it nine times. I wish I had that problem. Jamie will cross the Channel of Bones one more time, striving for his 10th world championship and completing a perfect decade of dominance. What are you willing to give? How much can your body take? That will be the question that you know, will ultimately be answered. Come to this. He's got maybe a thousand yards left. Will Jamie Mitchell hold on? He's being pushed. Can he win his test? Will he win his test? Who will know. 500 yards to go. It's that close. It's going to end up being that close.